Hi, welcome to this week's edition of the Bruce and Josh Show. So we have had a lot of questions from clients on uh, refinancing. If you've bought your house, you know, several years back and you're at four, five, six, seven percent, it might be a good thing for you to actually consider refinancing mm -hmm. because you would save a lot of money over the life of your loan. A big question would be, what is refinancing? Basically what a refinance is, is you're gonna go in and you're gonna get an entirely new loan. They're going to pull everything they would for just a regular loan. If you were going in and buying a house, they're gonna pull your income, they're gonna pull your credit, and they're gonna look at it, you know, exactly how they would a brand new loan. And they're gonna qualify you with that new interest rate. And so that new interest rate, if you are at, I'll give you an example, just ballpark. Say you're at 7% interest and your payment currently is almost $1,200 a month by the time you add in taxes and insurance, et cetera. You refi into a two, it goes 3%, 3% interest rate. That same payment, is going to be more in the $800 a month range instead of the $1,200 a month range, meaning you have saved 350, 400 bucks worth of interest every month for the life of that loan. So that is the benefit of refinancing. All right, so how do you refinance? Well, you just need to get in contact with your lender and tell them that you're looking at refinancing your house and they'll start the process for you. Uh, but Josh, you might ask, I don't have a lender. Well, that's great. We have so many lenders we work with that we love. Call us, we'll hook you up with them. We do. We've been doing this a long, long time. And so we have a number of well-vetted vendors, lenders included, that can help you with many of the things you guys need to do. When you're refinancing your house, the, question, the big question is, is it worth it in terms of cost? So if you're dropping in general, the idea would be, if you're going to lower your percentage rate by more than about one-ish percent, it's quite possible that it's worth it. Yeah, it's so, you know, if you go, certainly going from 7% to 3% is worth it. What if you're at four or four and a half or 3.9 and you're gonna get two and a half to three? Yes, it's probably worth it. But the big, the, a question to ask yourselves is this, what kind of condition is my home in? How old is my home? What have I done to modernize it? Because potentially during either the appraisal process or a change in insurance companies, something like that, that happens during the refi process, things might get caught. If you're living in a house that was built during the time of aluminum wiring, or you're living in a house that was built during the time of polybutylene pipes, or you're living in a house old enough that it's got you know old cast iron, Anything, your roof is more than 10 to 15 years of age. Things of that nature that insurance companies dislike or that appraisers, when they research the house and they see you're built and they ask you questions about what's been updated, realize there might be some issues with some of those things, it's possible they're gonna ding that and then you have to make that repair in order to qualify. Right. So just know that up front. As always, remember to like this video, comment if you have any questions about refinancing, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media. Mm -hmm.